Joe asks, how do I feather an edge in Photoshop? It seems to have changed. And the answer is, it's easy to feather an image out. It's trickier to feather an image in. And let me show you how this works. This photo was taken by Sue Hewitt on one of her diving expeditions off the Caribbean. It's a piece of coral. I want to create an image where the background kind of disappears. So let's do something really, really foolish. Let's grab this lasso tool and I'm going to lasso this object. Look at up here. See where it says feather. Feather determines how much feathering is going to be in that border, that selection rectangle that I just drew. If I set this to zero and then draw it, Look at that. Is that incredible? What a freehand artist I am. And I delete. No, 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 no. Stop. Switch this to a layer. And I delete that. Notice I've got a hard edge here. I don't want a hard edge. I want a soft edge. So I'm going to change the feathering. And we'll say feather 100 pixels. And we'll draw another incredible circle around this coral. It just leaves tears in everyone's eyes. And we'll delete that. And now I've got a 100 pixel soft edge. Feathering outward is easy. Where things get harder, though, is when I select the shape. I'm going to go to this tool, the Object Selection tool, and say, I want to select this shape. And notice now there are marching ants around the edge of the coral. Select the opposite, Shift-Command-I, hit the Delete key, and, oh, look at that. I've got a hard edge around my coral. Well, if I want to have a soft edge, what do I have to do? And the answer is this. When I select the object, oh, just hush. When I select the object, go up to the Select menu, go down to Modify, and choose Feather. And let's dial in a 50-pixel feather. And now when I select the opposite and delete it, I've got a little bit of the outside edge hanging around there. But what happens if I want it to feather in? I want the feather to end at the edge, not start at the edge. Let's undo a few times. Get rid of that. This time, I'm going to select my object, go up to the Select menu, go down to Modify, and contract by the amount of the feather. I want to add a 50-pixel feather, so I want to contract it by 50 pixels. Notice how now the marching ants are inside. Then, go back to Select, Modify, Feather, and Feather it by 50. So now the feather extends back to the original edge. Select the inverse, and delete it. And there we go. I have now feathered, I've now feathered the coral so that none of the background is there, but the edge of the coral is now softer. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 376. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.